Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Server Portal. In this short demo, we're going to show you the benefits and features of the Carbonite Server Portal. So let's go ahead and get started. The portal is just one component of the Carbonite Server product. It's combined with the agent, which we talked about in another video, and the vault. The vaults is where the backups are restored. You can have a vault in the cloud, yours, Carbonite's, or someone else's, on-premises, or a combination of the two. We even have an available appliance that you can utilize for those hybrid deployments to simplify the protection. The vault stores, compresses, and deduplicates the one seed and forever incremental backups by the agent, which reduces the backup footprint for all of your servers, which saves resources and money, and that's what the Carbonite Server Portal talks to. The Carbonite Server Portal is your one-stop shop for the protection, recovery, and reporting of your entire backup environment. The portal can be deployed on site, or you can use Carbonite's hosted portal as well to simplify your deployment, saving time and money. When you log into the Carbonite Server Portal, you are greeted with this landing page. Here you can easily see at a glance the status of the entire environment and if any backup or server needs attention. This simplifies management and reduces the overhead required by administrators. One of the great features of Carbonite Server Portal is the status feed section. This allows multiple administrators the ability to communicate easily with each other about the machines being protected by Carbonite Server. Finally, you can also create additional users, manage computers, monitor jobs, run reports, and push out agent updates as well all from one location, which makes management simple. If this is your first time accessing the portal, you'll probably want to create some policies. Policies are a way to easily manage multiple servers at once with a basic set of options and features. This further simplifies management and reduces the overall cost of the solution. You can configure certain basic options like what vault to connect to, email notifications, performance throttling, certain inclusions, exclusions for all servers, and what retention policies are available. Retention policies define how long the data is protected in the vault. You would configure different policies to ensure compliance if you're in a regulated market and to satisfy the SLAs of your organization. Having this as part of the policy allows administrators to easily configure the retention of data for their entire environment, but keep in mind that you can have multiple policies and multiple retentions for greater flexibility as well. Let's create a retention policy to see how that would work. For example, if I wanted a bi-monthly policy so I have one backup every two months, that's protected for an entire year, I would simply enter 365 for the backup retention to tell the vault that this data should stay for a year, and then since I want bi-monthly, that would be six copies. Feel free to create as many as desired for the needs of your organization. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Server Portal. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.